What's up you guys, Alex here. Today's video, I'm gonna be talking about different squash playing styles. Okay, so let's get into it then. So today I'm gonna to be going over four common types of squash players. After playing squash for so many years, these are the ones that I found to be the most common. And I'll be going over some of the advantages and disadvantages of each style of play. So first up, we have power hitters. Okay, so everyone knows that player who can just absolutely crush the ball or can just get a ton of weight behind the ball and it's really tough to deal with. These players play with so much pace and you know some advantages that these players have is that all this pace can throw off a lot of players. They can really throw their opponent's timing off based on the amount of pace they're getting behind every shot. And on the receiving end of this pace, it gives you less time to get to the ball and swing and get in position. A disadvantage of playing with this much power and pace is it takes up a lot more energy throughout the match to keep up this pace. A player on tour who comes to mind as a power or pace hitter is Simon Rosner. Okay, so next we have the standard or traditional player. Okay, so the standard player in squash is someone who generally has really good form and discipline on the squash court. By that I mean they tend to be accurate hitters and more just up and down the wall aiming for tight shots. They also tend to hit to the back of the court more and hit a lot of length and then really only go short when a good opportunity presents itself. So an advantage that these type of players have is they tend to be a bit more patient on court and also make less errors. A disadvantage for these players is that they often don't go for as many kill shots or put away shots. So they're often winning rallies by their opponent's unforced errors or just their own really accurate shots. A player on tour with this kind of accuracy and a really patient player is definitely James Wilstrom. Okay, so next up we have runners. So everyone also knows that one player who is just so persistent and just gets every single ball back and never seems to give up on a rally. These type of players just run everywhere on court and if you're not fit, it's very hard to keep up with them. An advantage that these type of players might have is that they often have more endurance than their opponents and they can use this endurance to wear their opponents out throughout the match. A disadvantage that these players might have is that their shots might be slightly looser than other players, but they make up for this with their athleticism and their retrieval abilities. A player on tour that comes to mind is definitely Rodriguez who can be seen diving and just getting every single ball back. Okay, so lastly, we have my favorite and what I would identify my own playing style as, and that is shot makers. So these players often like to go for high risk, high reward shots, and are often looking for the nick to end a rally. They also tend to have good hands and racket skills and often go for more drop shots than usual. An advantage that these type of players have is that they are able to both end rallies really quickly and also rack up points really quickly. Some disadvantage that these players might have is that they might hit tin more often and lose points quicker because of the high risk shots that they go for. A player that falls into this category is Gawad, who is often seen racking up points really quickly, even when he's down by a pretty significant margin. Okay, so those are four styles of squash players that I've noticed, and yes, I do know that a lot of the players I mentioned overlap with some of the categories, but I think that's what makes them so talented and what makes them such good squash players. So let me know in the comments below what type of squash style you guys have and what squash style you guys find to be the most frustrating. Also, did I miss any categories? Let me know what other squash styles there are that you've seen. Let me know in the comments below, and if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.